Hello, guys. Hello, hello. Is it open? Hiya. Hiya, Berlin. How are you today? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? I'm great. Thank you very much. Are you ready for today? Yes. Great. Kimberly, hello. How are you? Hello. How are you today? Fine, Angel. I'm great. Are you ready for camera, Kimberly? Or not yet? Jesus, good afternoon. How are you today? Hello, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. I'm great, man. Thank you for asking. Paulette, welcome to the class. How are you? Hello, teacher. Will I and you? I'm great, miss. Thank you for asking. Are you ready? Yes. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfecto, perfecto. Let me get this ready. Hi, Alina. Good afternoon. All right, ready. Let me see your cameras, guys, so we can start with the class today. Ready, ready. Hi, teacher. Hi, Alina, how are you today? Good, thank you, and you? I'm great, thank you. Ready? Yes, yes. very good. Okay. Class of today, we are going to continue with adjectives, right? Um, yesterday, we were talking about adjectives, right? So today, we are going to continue with it. We're going to continue with the topic. Adjectives. Um, can you remember three characteristics of adjectives? About yesterday class, you remember? Let's talk about some characteristics. Right? Number one, number two, number three. What do you remember from adjectives? Do you remember anything? We use them for what? We use adjectives for what? Describe nouns. Exactly, Jesus. Yes, to describe. That will be the most important characteristic, right? They describe nouns. And this is, oh, sorry. This is very important, nouns. 
to describe nouns. Um, what is the location in the sentence? You know? In what position we use them in one sentence? We have two different options. For example, if you have a blue house, right? This is my noun and this is my adjective, right? So they go before or after nouns. They go before or after nouns? Before. They go before. Thank you, Jesus. They go before nouns. Okay? And if I say, for example, the house is blue. Okay? Here I have a noun, but here I have a verb. And they go, that will be point number three. The location before or after the verbs. What is point number three? They go before nouns, totally. They go before nouns, but they go Oh, no, 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 no. Verbs in here. What is the word in here? They go before nouns, but they go after. After verbs, okay? Thank you, Alina. So those are going to be the three characteristics that we have for adjectives, right? Um, they describe nouns. Okay, we understand that. Okay, examples like blue, like big, like tall, like expensive, um, horrible, you know, those are going to be adjectives. Now, we have a specific rules and one of the rules is going to be that they go before the nouns, like, like this example, the blue house, for example. And we have rule number three, they go after the verb. For example, the house is blue, after the verb to be. So today we have a different topic, okay? We are gonna go with adjectives, yes, but we are going to combine it or we are going to mix this topic. We are going to mix adjectives with the pronoun one or ones, okay? We are going to do a different topic today. Hello, Mr. Emiliano, how are you today? All good. Paul, how are you? Hello, I'm good. Excellent, Camila, how are you today? Hi, teacher. Fine. Thank you, Angie. Fine. Thank you. Ya mero tenemos vacaciones, ¿ok? Aguanten, aguanten. Ya mero vamos a salir de vacaciones. Ya, Isa, hello. How are you today? Hello, teacher. I am good. And you? I'm great. Thank you, Jaisa. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. All right. Let's do it then. Let's go with the information for today. Can you help me, please? Um... Paul, can you help me with number one, please? We can use the pronoun noun, one or once, to substitute. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Substit substitute. Substitute a noun before mention. Thank you. For example, look at this example. I love this house, right? I love this house. And we understand that house is going to be representing a noun, right? I love this house. And then you say, I don't like that one. I don't like that one. For example, 
I'm going to say, I love this house, but I don't like that house. Well, actually, let me do it over here because we need it to be continuous. I love this house, but I don't like that house. Okay. I love this house, this house, but I don't like that house. You know, we understand the sentence. Yeah. What is repeated in the sentence? What is repeated in the sentence? What is repeated? That you repeat, what word do you repeat? What word is repeated? How? Hi, Angie. How's Camila? Thank you. Hi, so, teacher. How are you, Angie? I'm good, thank you. I'm great, thank you. You ready for class? Yes, I'm ready. Excellent. So we are saying that we repeat house in this case. Now, um, house is a noun, a verb, an adjective. What is a house? Noun, verb, or adjective? What is it? Noun, noun, verb, noun, it's a noun. Okay, this is a noun and this is a noun, right? Okay, to do this, we, we don't want to repeat, okay? Repetition is not good in English, right? So what we're gonna do, this house over here, we are going to substitute it. We're gonna to, I'm going to use the word replace, okay? We are going to replace that noun. So I'm going to eliminate it, right? I'm going to eliminate it like that. And I am going to use one to replace the house, okay? So what you say, I love this house, but I don't like that one, meaning... This is going to be representing a house, right? So what we have is this one over here is going to be the same as this one over here. I love this house, but I don't like that one, okay? Let's go with another example. Um, I enjoy, I would say, I enjoy, um, I enjoy to eat burgers, I would say, uh, chicken burgers. Right? Copy this example too, please. I enjoy to eat chicken burgers, but I don't enjoy to eat beef burgers. This is too big, I'm sorry. Okay. I enjoy to eat chicken burgers. Oh, burgers is with not you. I'm sorry. There you go. Burgers. I enjoy to eat chicken burgers, but I don't enjoy to eat beef burgers. What is repeated in here? What am I repeating? What word is repeated? Only one word is repeated. Talking about nouns, okay? Eat. 
Because this one, it's okay. I enjoy to eat. I don't enjoy to eat. That one, it's okay. But talking about the nouns, one noun is repeated. Burgers. Burgers. Thank you, Jaisa. So burgers, we are repeating burgers. Okay. Look at this one. Singular or plural? Burgers. Very easy. Plural, Camila, yes. So when you say plurals, we are going to use ones, okay? So I'm going to eliminate burgers, right? And I am going to replace the noun burgers with ones. I enjoy to eat chicken burgers, but I don't enjoy to eat beef one, the beef ones. Las hamburguesas de carne o hamburguesas de pollo. Pero no queremos repetir hamburguesas. That would be the object, the objective here, you know? So let's go with another example. So that one it's a little, a little crazy. I I bought. You remember this verb? I bought the blue shirt right but i didn't i didn't buy the white shirt okay what is the noun that is repeated shirt Shirts, exactly. So we have shirt. Oh, it's singular, sorry. Shirt and shirt, right? Okay. How can you replace it? Is singular or plural? Remember, if it's singular, if it's singular, you're going to do one. And if it's plural, you're going to do ones, right? To replace. Okay. What is the replacing sentence? One. Yep. Can you read it, please? I'm going to eliminate I this bought one. the blush, blue shirt, but I didn't buy the white one. Excellent. The white one. Okay. So, let's see. Thank you, Alina. This information is important, okay? Let me put it over here. All right. Now let's go with another example to make it clear. Um, I usually drink. I usually drink the orange juice. I usually drink orange juice. I would do it like that. I usually drink orange juice. But I don't drink apple juice. Well, no, this is not a good example. Sorry, guys. Let me think about another example. Mm. Okay, I use, I usually use, I usually use the old um, I usually use the old car and I never use the new car okay this one is a good example i usually use the old car but i never use the new car teacher okay yes i got it you know oh don't worry Jason. 
Okay. What can we replace in this example? What noun can we replace? Car. Car, thank you. So we have car. How can we replace it, Camila? With one or ones? One. One. So I'm going to eliminate the noun and I'm going to put the pronoun, which is one. I usually use the old car and I never use the new one. The new what? The new what? The new what? The new what? Okay, the new car. Make sense? Yep. Okay, so we are going to be replacing, okay? We are going to be replacing nouns. Let's go with some more information, guys. Can you help me, Paulette, with number two, please? We can do this after an adjective, after the, after which. So after the and after which, all right? Examples, Paulette, this one. You see those cars, the blue car is mine and the red one is my wife's. Okay, so this one over here, is replacing what? The blue car is mine and the red one is my wife's. One is replacing what noun? Car. The car, very good, Alim. This one over here, right? All right, let's go with number two. Can you help me, Paul, with this one? I will. I will buy the black socks and you will buy the green ones. The green ones. It's in plural. What? It's ones replacing. Replacing what? The green what? Socks. The green socks, you got it, man. Right? Okay. Uh, the next one, can you help me, Camila, please? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love both houses. Which one do you like? Which one do you like? Which one? This one is replacing what, Camila? Mm -hmm. what house what house there you go what house right okay so this is going to be good for you to sound you know to have better english actually and you don't repeat and repeat and repeat right more info can you help me please angie Yes, number three. We will use one when um, we replace a singular noun and one, uh, and one's when we replace a plural noun. Exact, exactly. Yeah. What cup should I buy? You know, what cup should I buy? ¿Cómo traducirían eso? What cup should I buy? Ya practicamos should. Remember. What cup should I buy? ¿Cómo dirían eso en español? What cup should I buy? ¿Cuál taza debería comprar? Perfect, yes. Perfect. I love that orange one. Okay, this one is replacing what? I love the orange... What is the noun? Cup. The orange cup, exactly. So I'm I am going to replace it because I I mentioned it before. I mentioned cup in my question, right? But they love the green ones. You see? 
The green ones. Once is replacing what? It's plural. I cups. love the orange. Cups. Very good. Cups. Right? So we come back to the same information, right? Singular is going to be replaced by cup. No, no, no. By one, I'm sorry. And plural are going to be replaced by ones. Okie doke. No questions in this moment, guys? Do you have any questions so far? No? No. Okay, so let's go with the exercise. Exercise number one. Can you help me, Kimberly, with the instructions, please? <laughs> Look at the situations. Uh, show be your professor. They write down a negative sentence you sent it in your student. Oh, God. Never mind the instructions. Okay. Thank you, Kimberly. So what we're going to do, actually, is look at the example here. I'm going to say, who is Tony in this picture, right? Who is Tony in this picture? What I'm going to, I'm going to answer this question. And I'm going to say, Tony is the man I'm in Ben. I'm I'm you know, I'm inventing. Tony is the man with with the yellow pants. Okay? Tony is the man with the yellow pants. Okay. We need to substitute. Look. We need to substitute the noun, what noun? Man, in this case. Ok. Entonces, miren cómo se lee, ¿no? Tony es el hombre con los pantalones amarillos. Tony es el hombre con los pantalones amarillos. No quiero decir hombre. No, I'm going to substitute it. So I'm going to say, Tony is the one. Tony is the one with the yellow pants. You see? Okay. Let's try it. Let's try it. <clears throat> okay. Let's uh, listen to question number two. It says, which coffee will you order? You need to answer in future. Which coffee will you order, um, Jesus? Which coffee will you order? Mm. You need to respond, Jesus, with, with the noun, okay? No replacing in this moment. I am... I, um... Buy in future, in future, I will, I will buy coffee with milk. Cafe con okay. Leche. Uh huh. I will buy the coffee with milk. Okay. You need to. What is that noun? I will buy the coffee with milk. What is the noun of that coffee. answer? Coffee. coffee, thank you. So coffee, we need to replace it, Jesus. One more time. Which coffee will you order, Jesus? I will buy the one with milk. Excellent. The one with milk. Perfect. Ok. So, si se fijan, es la respuesta. Yo compraré el café con leche. Y en la segunda, yo compraré el que tiene leche. You know? Make sense? Ok. Number three. 
Are you familiar with borrow? What is borrow? Any ideas? Borrow? Can you borrow? No. Can I borrow 20 pesos? I will pay you tomorrow. Can I borrow a shirt? Can I borrow your computer for one minute? Can I borrow your cell phone to make a phone Prestar. call? Huh? Prestar. Prestar, right? Borrow. Va a ser prestar. Pero hay que tener en cuenta que también existe lend. Ok. Pres ese también es prestar. Ok. Ahora aquí hay que poner atención un poco porque lend significa prestar, pero este es el que presta. Y este es el que pide prestado. El que pide prestado. Okay, it's a little confused. Uh, it's a little bit complicated in there. So the question is, can I borrow a t-shirt? How can you answer that? Me puedes prestar una camiseta? Can I borrow a t-shirt? And what shirt? What shirt can you borrow? Can I borrow? Can you lend me? I would say, yes, I can. I can, you know. Can you, can I borrow a t-shirt? Yes, you yeah. can, actually. Tell me, Kimberly. You can borrow, you can borrow the, I don't know, give me a description for the shirt. Give me an adjective. Yes, you can borrow the description for the shirt. Maybe a color. Maybe give me an adjective. The white, thank you. You can borrow the white shirt. Okay. So we need to substitute the noun. What is the noun? Shirt. Shirt, exactly, yes. Okay, give me the substitution sentence, Kimberly. One with everything, yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can borrow the white, you can borrow one. the white one exactly. The white one, the white shirt, the white one, not the black one, the white one, not the green one, the white one. Okay. Number four, which color did you buy? It's in pass. Camila, this is for you. It's in pass. Which color did you buy? I bought the pink purse. The pink purse, very good. Can you substitute it, please? What is the noun, Camila? The purse. The purse, okay. So Camila, which color did you buy? In the substitution sentence. Um, pink. Aha, uh -huh, but complete. I bought the pink one. I bought the pink. Thank you. I bought the pink one. 
I bought the pink one. The pink what? The pink purse, right? Paul, not Paul, sorry, Paul. Ya te hice participar, one second. This is for Jaisa. Are you here, Jaisa? Yes? Yes. Yes. Jaisa, what movie will you watch? It's in future, Jaisa. Mm. I will watch Inside Out. I will watch Inside 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 Out. I will watch Okay, one second, Jaisa. I will watch the Inside Out movie. Okay, this is your noun. How can you replace it, Jaisa? Mm -hmm. I will watch the one movie. No. Remember, Jaisa, this one. This I is like will... your adjective. Uh -huh. I will watch that one. Maybe maybe the animated one, the cartoon one, the maybe animated one. You know, the animated. How? Yeah, the animated the animated one. Como veré la veré la caricatura animada, right? Oh, yep, the movie. Ah, ok, ok. Makes sense. Es que fue rara tu respuesta. Está bien tu respuesta, Jaisa. Maybe if you say, for example, that I will watch, I will watch the romantic movie. For example, right? It's easy to do it. I will watch the romantic one, you know? Okay. Yes. There you go. Okay. Let's see. ¿Quién me falta? Emiliano, are you here, Emiliano? Okay. Maybe not. Paulette, can you help me with the number six? No, 16, six. What credit card did you pay? It's in pass. I pay. Master, Visa, Coppel, I don't know. What credit card did you pay? I paid the uh, Liverpool card. Yes, the Liverpool. I paid the Liverpool card. Okay. This one is your noun. What's the substitution sentence? What I, credit card did you pay, Paulette? I paid the Liverpool one. Exactly. I paid the Liverpool one. The Liverpool one. So meaning the car from Liverpool, right? Okay. Let's see. I have Jaisa. I have Emiliano Sna here. Angie, you you participated Angie yeah Angie, yes. help me with them help me with number seven Angie look at the question <laughs> which room are you going to use um I going to use the room color black 
Okay, I am going to use, I'm going to say the black room because, acuérdate que el adjetivo va antes del noun, okay? I'm going to use the black room. Okay, you need, you need to substitute this noun. What is the substitution sentence? I'm going to use the black one. Excellent. I'm going to use the black one. The black one. Okay. All right. Number eight is a little complicated. Who is going to help me? No sé si podemos hacer sustitución aquí. Who is going to help me? I would say my mom is going to help me, for example, okay? Let me help you. My mom is going to help me. Okay. The only option for substitution for my mom, what would it be? We can substitute my mom, but not for one. Okay? Remember, we have I, we have you. Acuérdense que estamos sustituyendo nouns, pero no personas. Las personas se sustituyen con cuáles? With I, with you, with he, with she, with it, with we, and with they. Right? So what's the substitution in here? Now with one, now with ones. What is it? She. She, yeah. She is going to help me. That would be the option, right? She's going to help me. All right. Number nine, it is possible. What car did you crash? Me. Tell me, please, Alina. It will crash the old car. Yes, but it's in pass, Alina. What car did you crash? He crashed the old car. Excellent. He crashed the old car. All right. What's the substitution? He crashed, crashed the old one. He crashed the old one. Perfect. All right. To finish, number 10. What class did you fail? Are you familiar with fail? What is fail? Like an exam? Fallar. Fallar o... Reprobar. Relacionar, repro, reprobar relacionar la escuela. Yep. It can be... Fallar, it can be reprobar if it's related with school. So, what class did you fail? It's in pass, so you need to use failed. What class did you fail? I failed it. the class of History. Okay. We're going to use I fail history class. Okay. This one is going to be the substitution that you can do, Kimberly. How can you substitute it? What class I, did you fail, Kimberly? I fail it history one. Uh huh. I'm going to put that, okay? That history one. Okay, I failed that history class can be. I failed the history one. Okay, you got it. Questions right now? No questions? 
Okay. All right, look at this one. This is the this is the next activity, I think. Let me check. ¿Qué página es esta, chicos? Estoy un poco enredado. Three. Ustedes no tienen esto. Page number three. What are the instructions, Alina? We have instructions. Pues, es la misma que no. Ah, okay. ¿Cuántos espacios hay? Diez. A ver, déjenme ver el libro. Sorry, guys. Give me one second. <laughs> Un momento, señores, por favor. Page three, let me check. Ah, okay. No, no la tenemos. Esta es una tarea. Sorry, guys. Okay. We're going to have an audio, a listening. Let's go with this page over here. Okay. This one, it is page, it's page number four. Okay. Okay. Can you help me, Jesus, with the instructions, please? Part number one. Uh, listen to the audio, then circle one or once, depending okay. on what you heard for each number. Very nice. So it's easy because you need to identify one or ones, one or ones, singular or plural. All right. Here we go. Ready, here we True go. True English guys. Academy Listening Program. Step number 21. The good one. Exercise 2. Instructions part 1. Listen to the audio, then circle one or ones, depending on what you heard for each number. Instructions part 2. Listen to the audio again and use the line to write down what noun is the word is being replaced in the sentence. Number one. I didn't buy the blue bicycle, but I bought the pink one. One. I didn't buy the blue bicycle, but I bought the pink one. Number two. My sister ate the mushroom slices of pizza, and I ate the pepperoni ones. Two. My sister ate the mushroom slices of pizza, and I ate the pepperoni ones. Number three. My old boss was horrible. The new one is very nice with me. Number four. Don't drive the small car. It doesn't have gas. Drive the big one. That one has gas. Number five. I don't want to watch a horror movie. I want to watch a romantic one. Number six. The large pants go in the box. The small ones go in the bag. Number seven. My boyfriend always orders the double burger. I always order the regular one. 
Number 8. The chef salad is very expensive. Buy the Oriental one, that one is only $7.99. Number 9. Students will not do the long exam, they will do the short one. Number 10. I have a beautiful chair and my brother has an ugly one. Only 10, not 12. Let's listen again, all right? It's very fast. Then circle one or listen to the audio being replaced and didn't buy the blue. Here we go again, okay? Number one. I didn't buy the blue bicycle, but I bought the pink one. Number two. My sister ate the mushroom slices of pizza, and I ate the pepperoni ones. Number 3. My old boss was horrible, the new one is very nice with me. Number 4. Don't drive the small car. It doesn't have gas. Drive the big one, that one has gas. Number 5. I don't want to watch a horror movie. I want to watch a romantic one. Number 6. The large pants go in the box. The small ones go in the bag. Number 7. My boyfriend always orders the double burger. I always order the regular one. Number 8. The chef salad is very expensive. Buy the Oriental one, that one is only $7.99. Number 9. Students will not do the long exam, they will do the short one. Number 10. I have a beautiful chair and my brother has an ugly one. All right. Let's check it out. Difficult. How is it? Heart? The listening? Very, very, very difficult, Angie. No, very easy. Ah, okay. Then. Ah, okay. That's easy. Very easy. Let me show you the answers, okay? Don't copy there. Okay. Here are the answers. Only two plurals, I guess. That your little brother, Jesus? <laughs> yes. He loves you. Hello. What's up, man? How are you, man? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm great, thank you for asking. What's your name? Jose. Nice to meet you, Jose. <laughs> Give me your scores, okay? Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Thank you, Jesus. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye. Oh, no, 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 Jesus. Wait, 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 Jesus. Wait. Sorry. Give me one minute. Kimberly, you got it? Paulette? Ten out of ten. 10 out of 10, of course, it's easy, Alina. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, Jaisa. Or 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, Angie. 10 out of 10. 
Of course, si, si Paul, what you got? 10 out of 10. Evelyn, 10 out of 10, Evelyn. Cami. 10 out of 10, Camila. 10 out of 10, of course. We got Kimberly, how many? 10 out of 10? 10. 10 out of 10. Okay. Now, listen. Esa va a ser su tarea y les voy a explicar. Okay? Ay, ay, ay. No me copien esto. Okay? Acuérdense que el, el one o el once es para reemplazar. ¿Sí? La pregunta es, ¿qué reemplazaron? ¿Qué noun? What noun they replace? Right? For example, my brother, oh, one more time. I have a beautiful chair, but my brother has an ugly one. I am replacing what? I have a beautiful chair, but my brother has an ugly one. I am replacing what? Chair. Chair, okay? So this one's gonna be your homework. Chair. I need to, or you need to tell me what noun they are replacing. Okay? Les voy a enviar el audio al WhatsApp. Lo pueden revisar las veces que quieran. Pero, hola Evelyn. Nice camera. <laughs> eh, pero, mañana lo checamos, ¿vale? What nouns? See you tomorrow. Ahora sí. Bye bye, guys. Goodbye, see you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Tomorrow. I listen to you loudly.